Okay, we're at Kroger's. I'm going to go in and see what I can find. Okay, so I am back from Kroger's and I have put the groceries away. I've finished my laundry. I've got my taxes. I got the program downloaded on my computer, but I, and, uh, I haven't really even started it yet because I'm trying to find the taxes that we did last year. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to make the pot of chili for the chili cook-off at church tonight. And I'm also going to make some cookies. I bought some Pillsbury sugar cookie mix. And I'm going to use the pumpkin spice chips. I have some left over that I got around uh, the holiday times last year. And, uh, and I have two of these. So I'm going to make some cookies to take tonight. I'm going to do a video on the chili that I'm going to make. I'm not going to make my traditional chili. I'm going to make it a little bit different. And um, I'll do a separate video on that. So check that video out tomorrow. <whistles> Oven's warm. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and start this. So um, I'll be back with you and I'll show you how it turns out. I've got some sugar cookie mix. Uh, Pillsbury sugar cookie. And I'm going to use the pumpkin spice chips and, and mix it with that and make some pumpkin spice um, cookies. These chips I bought over the holidays last year and um, I'm going to try to use this, this pack of chips up. I let my cookie dough, um, the Pillsbury sugar cookie dough, get to room temperature so that it's easier to work with. And I'm going to just cut this package open. So that I can add the chips to it. Go ahead and put it in the bowl. And you may hear my hamburger cooking. I've got my hamburger and my sausage on the burner over there and they're starting to saute together. I'm multitasking here. I'm going to cut both of these up. I'll be right back with you. Got all my cookie dough put in the bowl. It's the two packages of the Pillsbury sugar cookie dough. And I have my Nestle's Toll House pumpkin spice chips that I purchased over the holidays, over the Christmas holidays. I'm going to put, I think I may put the whole pack in there. Let me see how this looks. I just kind of stir it up. I let this get to room temperature so it would be easier to stir. I just want to make sure there's a, a generous portion of chips in each one. I think I'll just use the whole pack. So it will be a, a nice generous portion of chips in the, bowl, in the cookies. I did some of these sugar cookies over the holidays and with the with the chips in them and it turned out really good. We liked them a lot, so I thought I would do this as a treat for the church. Just get them mixed in there good and then I'm just going to drop them by the, the spoonful onto the cookie sheets and then they go in the oven for about 12 minutes. But this is what it's going to be looking like. It's just another version of a chocolate chip cookie, but it's got pumpkin spice chips in it. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and drop them on the cookie sheet, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have my uh, first two pans of cookies ready to go in the oven, so I'm going to stick those in the oven now. Still have my pan sauteing for my chili over here. This will be about uh, 12 to 14 minutes, so I'm going to put a timer on for 12 minutes and see how the cookies turn out. Okay, I've pulled the cookies out of the oven and I'm sitting them in here to cool and. Oops. This is what they're looking like. They're looking good. All right. So let me get to finishing what uh, finishing the rest of the cookies. I got a couple more trays of cookies to go into the oven. Okay. So I have 
two more pans of the pumpkin spice cookies that I've taken out of the oven and I've taken the two pans that I had already cooled and put them in this. This is what I'm going to take them to the church tonight in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try one. Um, um, I'm hoping that these taste as good as they did when I made them back in the fall. Mm. That's a good sugar cookie mix. And I like the way that the um, I like the way that the spice chips work in those. If you ever get the opportunity to get these spice chips, I got them from Wegmans over the holidays last year. But if you ever get the opportunity to buy them, I would definitely do it. And this is a good way to use them in these spice chips. I want to thank you for stopping by while I'm making my cookies today and, and joining me. These are really, really good cookies. Um, I think that the church will enjoy them tonight. So uh, thank you. Um, give me a thumbs up if you want to. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you on my next video. I'm going to finish my cookie off. And I know this is not healthy. And it's not on my diet. But it's for a good cause. So I'm going to eat one cookie. And then I'll get back on my diet. But you all have a great evening. Thanks.